we keep elders alive so that we can have real conversations and not play ones. Tell me your name again. Shannon, is it? Shannon, I think that it comes again to the question of what are our goals? Beyond staying in one place, beyond showing the police that we can do it, what are our goals? Are we trying to build a new country where people do not have to depend upon violence to overcome other people? Are we trying to show new possibilities or are we going back to the same old ones that brought us to this 99 and 1 position? When I hear, for instance, my beloved president talking about we are a Pacific power, I say to myself, oh my God, my son, that was what we were saying before Pearl Harbor. Is that what we're looking for again? We've got to keep asking ourselves, what is the kind of society we are trying to build? Can you build a strong, compassionate, human society by depending upon violence as the last word? No. Every, every evidence we have is that it is only as human beings find a way to deal with their differences with courage, with determination, and with mutual respect that a new society can come into being. So I think that that is the way that I would start answering your question, Shannon. Okay? Zahara might want to say some more. Um, it's important for you to know that this issue was one we had to deal with also. And, oh, oh, okay. The, we were constantly in the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee called SNCC that I was a part of. The issue of nonviolence uh, as a way of life versus nonviolence as a tactic versus should we hit back if we're struck. So this has been an issue that we had to address. I can say that looking back 40 years later, it is no question in my mind that we have to be a nonviolent movement, hopefully uh, philosophically we're there, but if we're not, we have to do it tactically because the police would not, would not nothing better than for us to be violent. And then they can justify their violence against us. And then the media and the politicians can turn the people against us. So hopefully, as Vincent was saying, we are clear that we want to build a very different world, a very different America than the one that you all have inherited, which is based on force. And look what it has gotten us. All of our wealth being drained out, fighting these ridiculous wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. And just as Vincent said, talking about we are a Pacific power, are we thinking about going up against China? Is that what that's all about? Uh, so, you know, it, it's futile. And when we look at the demise of civilizations before us, we have often seen that those civilizations went down because of militarism, because they used the resources to fight wars over and over again. We don't want to keep repeating that. And this is one of the things I have been so impressed with your movement, 